back to my channel today we're gonna get real <laughs> okay today basically is the first video in a new series that i'm starting on my channel called tony talks and tony talks is just gonna be a series where it's just some real shit like some real shit we're just spilling some real shit on the channel do you know what i mean so today what i'm talking about is Something I don't know if it's really talked about like that. When people talk about losing weight, they just talk about how great losing weight is and this and that. But what I feel like people don't really talk about is like literally the reality of losing weight. Like not only the good things about it, but the cons as well. Not, I wouldn't really say cons because losing weight is a, such a big achievement, especially if it's something you've been wanting to do for a long time. And so I wouldn't really call it cons. It's just the other side to losing weight that people don't tell you about. <laughs> the thing that people don't tell you. <laughs> Let me even sit back for this one. Cause, oh God. Let me even sit back for this one because it's about to get real. I even have to write notes because it's just like, I just feel like everybody has this thing where it's like, I need to lose weight. Once I lose weight, life is going to be good. Like, But there's some things that you have to come to terms with when you lose weight especially when you lose a, a a big amount of weight in a small amount of time and when people don't see the transformation like for me I lost like basically four stone in three months and it was three months of just finished uni like end of summer times when and I was a year below people who were in my year. So people who were in my year, like in first year, they had already graduated. So in summer, not everybody works in schools. Not everybody has half term or summer holidays. Like they're literally working every day. So they don't have a, they don't see me. They didn't see me type of thing. I wasn't snapping. So it was, a, it was literally like a drastic change. Like I think I posted a picture on my birthday and everyone was like, what happened to you? Like, or I think I, I was like, I started to snap like end of November and people were like, that like, Tony, you've lost bare weight type of thing. Like it was literally a surprise to a lot of people. Like I feel like only like five people knew that I was that, like had seen me or I let know like oh, I'm doing this keto thing type of thing. So it was a big shock for a lot of people. But I feel like I should start. I don't know if I should start the video on the pros or the cons. I, I'm just gonna call them cons for the sake of the video, but they're not cons because. I feel like with losing weight, there's no cons, but it's just the other side. So the cons. Should I start with the cons and end on a positive note? Let's start with the cons. So the first con, in my opinion, let me just do a little disclaimer in this video. Everything I'm saying is my opinion, my experiences after losing a big amount of weight or a large amount of weight in a small amount of time and things that I experienced. I'm not saying that this is what everybody experiences or this is everybody's reality this is literally just my reality and what happened to me when I lost weight and this was the response I got or ways in myself or things that I had to battle with myself do you feel me cool so the first thing for me is the mirror and when I say the mirror I mean like for me I don't know if it's just me or if it's a thing it's it's a like widespread thing with weight loss but I feel like I'm constantly, I don't know if it's judging myself or I'm just literally constantly looking at myself in the mirror. Like if I pass a mirror, I'm looking at myself, I'm not looking at my face to see if I look nice. I'm looking at my body to see like, oh, like what's going on? Like, is everything okay? Like type of thing. Like I'm like, am I going back? Not even am I going back to how I was because I feel like I don't think I can ever go back to how I was, especially because of the diet that I did and the way that my diet has changed and like my appetite and all of that. But it still doesn't take away the the like ounce of it's not I don't really say an ounce it is quite a lot of fear that like am I gonna am I putting on the weight or like is keto am I not keto I'm like am I, has my body is my body doing this my body going back to how it was type of thing like have I taken this break for too long am I going back to how I was before like just small things like things that happen to everyone being bloated or just like days when you've eaten bears and I don't know, just small things like that. For me, it's like, if I'm bloated, 
like you know sometimes people just wake up bloated like sometimes you just wake up bloated or something you had the day before or you haven't digested everything or it's just the way our bodies work sometimes we're bloated but for me even though i know that in my mental in my number six i know that sometimes we're bloated and in two days I'll, I'll, my belly won't be as bloated as it looks on that day but if i'm bloated i'll walk past the mirror and i'll just be like oh my god I'm 15 stone again like literally I'm like I'm literally 15 stone like and it's not like I don't even know how to explain it because it's not like a thing where I'm like oh my god like I'm literally I can't breathe or I literally can't live anymore it's just like a small moment where I'm just like whoa like is everything okay and then I'm just like oh I'm fine like I'm bloated but it's literally like I didn't I wasn't over processing my thoughts like that when I was actually big like when when my bloated stomach now was my tucking in stomach before i wasn't walking past the mirror like <gasps> type of thing like i feel like before i hardly even looked in the mirror like that and judged myself but now after losing the weight literally every mirror i do look at myself and i do think like like i'll be naked in the mirror like oh my god like i'll be like <laughs> <laughs> type of thing well like that is just one thing that i have noticed that i have i do a lot now like literally looking at myself a lot more than i did before so number one is the mirror but i feel like as the time goes by i'm looking at myself more and i feel like even though it's been more than a year now since i've lost the weight but everything's a working process so there will be i feel like it's going to get to a time when i I don't I start looking in the mirror less hopefully anyway um another thing to do with the mirror I feel like maybe it was more when I was losing weight so not after I'd lost the weight but like as I was losing weight because you are yourself you are you I am me I see myself literally every day and when you're conscious that you're actually doing something or you're working towards a goal like for example me I was literally conscious that I was losing weight I didn't have a job so literally the thing that I was doing was losing weight type of thing so and one thing that i wouldn't recommend you do is weigh yourself every day that is something that i did so when the scales would stop it would literally i would be so sad i'd be like so i'm doing all this i'm having no carbs da, 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 and i'm still the same weight or i put on a pound but it's just like a thing where you need to remember that when you lose weight properly it's not fast when you lose weight properly it is not fast and when i say fast i don't mean like me losing four stone in three months because that is fast but i mean when you're losing the weight fast is like for example when i did the um maple syrup diet or scarsdale or any of those get skinny quick diets fast is like losing a stone in a week and because i was so used to that losing a stone in a week losing like two stone in two weeks or all of those rubbish things that i used to do it was a thing where when i would step on the scale i would just be sad so yeah i just feel like weighing yourself every day please if you're losing weight or you're on your weight loss journey or you're thinking about starting your weight loss journey do not make the scales your priority literally the scale should be the thing that you think of the least in my um keto course literally i recommend you measurements that is literally the go because measurements are what made me realize oh i'm actually still losing weight even though the scales aren't moving so yeah i just feel like um scales are not your best friend scales are literally your enemy in this thing like it's good to see i would recommend weighing yourself every week to two weeks like if you could do two weeks it will be good for you because like the amount that you'll lose will be more so you'll be happier and it will push you to carry on doing what you're doing when you weigh yourself every day or every two days like in my in, in my case literally i weighed myself every day it was detrimental because i not detrimental because I still stayed on the diet, but it was just like, it would have, I would have preferred to have not felt how I felt when I stepped on the scale and it didn't move or I would put on two pounds and I'll be like, how have I put on two pounds? But literally water weight is real and bloatedness is real. And literally just trust me, the scale is not your friend. But as I was, the whole point of me even bringing up the scale thing was that losing weight is not fast so when you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you can't see that you've lost weight it's just like and the thing is even for me like even now like I look at myself and I'm just like like I don't really look that different but when I when I put pictures together of how I look before and how I look now I'm like damn girl like you actually did that you actually did that but 
just me looking in the mirror or even as I was losing weight, looking in the mirror, I was thinking that, like, wow, like, so when's this weight gonna drop then? <laughs> like the scales are moving a little bit or the scales are moving, the measurements are decreasing, but I'm looking at myself and I'm not seeing that much of a difference. It's not until I'd see people, like I'd see my friend's mum and they'd be like, ah, like you're losing weight or like I'll see people and they'll be like, wow, like you've lost weight type of thing. Or even people that I was with a lot, like my friend Temi, I was with her literally, like I would see her every week. So because she's seeing me so much, she didn't actually clock, like she, she herself didn't even clock it either. And she's not even me seeing myself every day. So imagine you looking at yourself every day in the mirror, you're not gonna really see any drastic changes the way that other people will, but that's just normal. Like, and I feel it slightly for me, it's a bit of body dysmorphia because literally I really don't see that much of a difference. Like now I'm literally just like, damn, like, couple more stone to go like even though i'm um, at my goal my goal that i had before i lost weight it's just like but to be honest, that's another that's another point let me move on to point number two point number two is okay what should i call this point i'm gonna call this point other people's opinions or should i call it unwanted opinions yes unwanted opinions so unwanted opinions is well, it's people, so for example, as I said in the beginning of the video, when I actually first lost weight, because a lot of people hadn't seen me in a while, or um, they literally hadn't seen me in a while, I hadn't posted, they hadn't seen me in real life, they literally, you don't, you don't think someone's losing weight just because they were big, you literally think they've stayed the same or whatever. So when I think I started posting myself, or like, I think, I, I don't remember what, what I posted, but I posted myself and it was like full length, and people were like, Rah, 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 type of thing and it was like mi mixed type of responses it was like some people were like rah, like yeah you could get it now like duh, 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 like type of thing unwanted because nobody wants you nobody wanted you anyway but okay if you want if you feel that you think i needed to know that okay um the other side is people who felt like you looked better how you were before another unwanted opinion people saying ah oh, the weight loss is good but you looked you still you look good before still I prefer how you were before still unwanted nobody asked you first of all secondly it's my body I can do what I, I can, if I want to lose weight and I feel better in myself now then how you feel about me losing weight like the opinion is unwanted and unnecessary. I don't care type of thing. Like I don't, I don't even get it. <laughs> I don't get why you're telling me you think I look better before. What do you think that does for me? Do you think, okay, oh, um, this person thinks I look better how I look before. So let's scrap keto. Let's scrap keto and let's jump back on the carbs thing and let's put on four stone again because obviously this person thinks I look better how I looked before, so let me go back. No, that's not it. I think I look better now. I am happier in myself now. I feel more comf comf comfortable and confident how I am now. So why do you think that that opinion, like you actually type that out to me? Scary. Um, point number three is kind of linked to point number two, unwanted opinions, but it's just like, once you've lost the weight, I feel like people feel the need to remind you that you used to be big type of thing. So, for example, me, as I've made very clear, I'm not keto 24-7. I'm not keto 24-7-365. Like, I haven't been keto for about two, three weeks now. But for me, I, I feel like because of what keto has done for me and my body and literally my appetite and everything, I just know that... There's no way I'm putting on the weight because I just know I can literally lose it so quickly. And I will never eat the amount of carbs that I used to eat before. Like, I'll, I already know, I don't need to explain myself. I know, I know my thing in it. So obviously I haven't been keto for like two weeks. So for example, me not being keto, for example, if I go out and for example, if I go to Nando's, for me to have a keto meal in Nando's, sometimes I'm feeling a keto meal. So I have like chicken thighs, broccoli, halloumi, avocado, stuff like that. But if I'm not feeling like I'm having a keto day or I feel like I want some sweets or I feel like, I don't know, I feel like something sweet or I feel like some carbs, maybe some chips or something on the side of what I'm eating, of my one meal, people giving their opinions about me maybe 
not wanting to go back so this is unwanted well point three is unwanted opinions part two so this is more like not really your opinion on how i look and compared to how i was before it's more are you sure you want to eat that are you sure you want to get that oh what are you getting are you is, is that keto are you sh are you sure are you allowed to have that do you want to go back to how you were before like bro 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 <laughs> I'm not with you 24 7 so you saying this for this one meal if i'm confident to have this meal in front of you how do you think i am by myself i don't have you to say do i want to go back to how i was before so you saying this one comment do you think you've saved me now from gaining three stone do you think i'm gonna gain three stone from this one meal you need to keep your opinion to yourself and worry about yourself because if i want to i don't give my opinions on you i don't give my opinions on what i think about what you're eating i don't give my opinions that i think that you need to purchase my ebook and follow my meal plan i don't do that so keep your opinions to yourself um, number four is loose skin and i feel like loose skin is not a problem for everybody because a lot of people don't get loose skin i don't know some people get loose skin some people don't me my skin isn't like visibly loose to the to the normal per to the person that's not me or a person that doesn't see me every day but for me i can see that certain parts of my body are a bit loosey doosey do you get what i mean like my arms they can be toned up a bit like i need to go gym i need to tone up a bit because my body is not as tight as it could be that is one thing when you when you lose a lot of weight that you not a lot of people will notice it because not a lot of people see that part those parts of your body especially if you're conscious of it you're not going to show it a lot but loose skin is something that i would say is a con of losing a lot of weight especially when you lose a lot of weight in a short amount of time for example me losing four stone in three months okay next point i have i do not remember the numbers but the next point is fake people oh let's sit back a bit for this one <laughs> fake people so when i say fake people i mean hmm how am i gonna say this i feel like in my experience of losing weight i feel like a lot of people when you're the big friend or the friend that is the thick friend people love to people love to throw away around the word thick thick when you're a bit of a biggie biggie i got called thick a lot thick a lot when I really wasn't I wasn't thick <laughs> I wasn't thick I was just fat with shape like I was fat with a bit of shape but when you're the big friend I feel like your your friendship group or people who you're around get used to you being the fat friend so when you're like when you're no longer the fat friend some people don't like that or some people are I wouldn't say intimidated by that but it's just like it's a drastic change for them and they don't really know how to adjust to it like so many people well not so many people a few people that i used to be so close with after i lost weight it was like they weren't trying to go out with me they weren't trying to shout me to do things they stopped snapping me stop liking my pictures stop everything stop everything stopped <laughs> you know like i would look at some pictures that i took when i was bigger that people would be reposting love strut nah, nah, nah. and i'm thinking the pictures i take now are banging bro i don't see you repost them <laughs> but it's just like hmm like a bit fake i smell it on you i smell it from far but it's just like it is what it is type of thing maybe i don't know literally at first i was just thinking like I didn't really get it because it was literally i don't know for me it was just like a boom type of thing like as soon as people certain people saw that i had lost a, a large amount of weight and i was kind of slim now and clothes were fitting me nicely and literally i can literally buy clothes when i go out and i'm not sad when i'm going shopping anymore and all of this stuff like i don't know certain people changed certain people switched up and i guess that's okay that's how you are and now i see the type of person that you are and i see how it is but that is a bit sad because it, it is people that you literally considered your close friend people you consider your sisters stuff like that so it's a bit sad but it's life in it certain people are fake but the other side to the fakeness is people who weren't really trying to fuck with you or weren't trying to talk to you 
um, when you were bigger or before you lost the weight. Um, and I mean that as like, so for me, people who weren't really trying to like be my friend like that, now you, now, now you think, maybe you think I'm prettier or you think, you think, I don't know what you think, but now you want to be friends or you want to be buddy buddy with me, but you weren't trying to be buddy buddy with me before scary again oh all these people are scary like you're all you scare me i don't like it why are you trying to be my friend now or even like niggas like boys like <sighs> boys and it's not even like i'm trying to say this on like a cocky thing like uh, like niggas want me like no because it's just like boys that you weren't feeling me like that before or you weren't trying to chat to me like that before but now it's adapting and it's just like, ugh. and it's a thing where people, boys think when it's like, going back to the point when I was like, people giving their unwanted opinions, it's like, with the, now with this point, the fake point, it's like, you didn't feel me like that before, now you're feeling me like that, or you think now because um, I've lost weight, like, you're attracted to me or whatever, okay, it's like they'll try and use our oh, like raw like you losing this weight like like you're my type now you're my type now you know like i'm here to tell you right now we don't care let me tell you right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care Jerry. scary like you was never my type so me now being your type then or now it's irrelevant because you was never my type not interested sorry like i don't know what this interaction like it's even awkward like and it's just like uh like it's not to be honest i don't even think that's niggas being fake it's just orcs like you're awkward like do you think you telling me me being slimmer is attractive to you now i'm your type like that's that's dead like you're dub like i don't like you're making me even less attracted to you than i w already was like and that's not me being rude or stuck up or anything. It's just like, if you weren't, if I have someone who was feeling me before and is still feeling me now, why do you think you, you, who is telling me you're feeling me now when you're tapped now, that will even look at you twice? Like, ugh, get out of here. Anyway, next point, body dysmorphia. I really kind of went into that, but this is more like literally the point of body dysmorphia you are never going to be 100% happy with yourself because I feel like it's like literally everyone's mindset, you always feel like you can do more or you can do better. So for me, when I first um, started losing weight, my goal was 12 stone. I'm 12 stone now, like I fluctuate between 11, seven and 12 stone. And um, bro, I'm thinking it's a 10 stone thing now. Like literally, I look at myself, I'm just like, no, 12 is not. And even and because I'm not on a gym, gym, gym thing like that, it's just like, am I ever going to be 100% happy or satisfied with the amount of weight I lose? Like, literally, it just feels like it's never going to stop. Like, <laughs> literally, I just feel like, is this ever going to stop? Am I just always going to be wanting to change myself or wanting to, not even wanting to change myself, wanting to better myself or wanting or, or setting new goals for my body? But that's why I really feel like I need to get into the gym because I feel like I'm not really, I'm not truly going to be happy with myself until I'm fully toned up and happy with myself. So that's why now I'm not even looking at the weight at the scales anymore, even though I do still weigh myself like every three to five days. But that's just because I'm not on keto, keto right now, like literally I'm keto like four days a week. So I'm still just checking to see what my weight's saying type of thing, just to make sure that I'm literally staying in the 11, seven to 12 range to make sure I'm not doing too much on the carb front. So yeah, <sighs> that's it with the body dysmorphia thing, but it's just like, I just feel like it is, a, for me, it's a work in progress to realize that I'm never gonna be 100% happy. I just need to, I do love myself, but it's just like, I need to realize you're beautiful how you are and whether I lose a bit of weight or a few more pounds or another stone or it, I don't know if it's a, like a thing where I need to go to the gym and just literally go ham in the gym. I think it, I think it is that, it is that. I need to go to the gym. But yeah, so for me, it's me needing to go to the gym to fight this body dysmorphia thing. But even so, I just feel like body dysmorphia is a thing that is literally in all of our minds. Whether you've lost a large amount of weight or not, 
I just feel like there's always something in our mind that's telling us like, like I'm not like even boys like they'll be like I'm not even like I'm not even I even got the gains these times they're looking like Hulk but they're just like I need the gains I need it like you can't see you can't see what other people see like same way how I was saying when I'd lost weight I couldn't see it but everybody could see it type of thing so just remember your eyes I would just say like for me I always think when I look at myself and I just start thinking mad things I'm just like your eyes are mad like your eyes aren't what other people see like even us, when, I, when I look in the mirror, what I see isn't what other people see. So I need to just chill out. Like, literally, chill out. My advice on the body dysmorphia thing, chill out. Like, bro, like, chill out, literally. The next thing is breasts, okay? Breasts, yeah? I'm talking about it. The breasting. So, when I initially lost the weight, well, when I, before I lost the weight, my bra size was a 34 double G. And yeah, like my, like, and that wasn't my normal breast size. Like I feel like my breasts aren't the biggest, biggest, but they're not the smallest, smallest type of thing. And me putting on the weight, obviously the weight goes everywhere to your feet, to your arms, to your face, to your breast, to your belly, to your legs, to your thighs, to your shins, everywhere. It goes everywhere. So the weight did go to my breasts as well. So literally my breasts were quite, big like literally double g's like so as i had lost the weight my bra size also decreased i went from a double g a 34 double g to a 30 slash 32 um double d which if you're a girl you know that is a bit a drastic change like literally when you think of double d okay let me just put this into perspective a 34 double d and a 30 double D, a 30 double D is a, a, quite a lot smaller than a 34 double D. So think of a 30 double D compared to a 34 double G, like the change is mad type of thing. So I did have a lot of loose skin on my breasts, but I had done a lot of research. Lots of people said go to the gym and do chest, do chest. But you lot already know me and Jim, like we ain't, we don't, we're not dogs in it. So it was just a thing when I was just thinking, bro, like, this is me now like this is me <laughs> i was literally just thinking this is me but i had read something saying that when you lose a large amount of weight the fat literally has to redistribute around your body and it takes like a year to two years for it to redistribute so your breasts will come back it won't obviously they won't be as big as they were before but they will fill out type of thing so literally i just thought that was a myth but over the past four months like the fat has been redistributing and i don't know i have seen a lot of changes in my body over the past few months the fat has been moving i don't know so i just feel like how you are straight after you lose weight if you're not happy with your body just don't be disheartened literally a year two years post weight loss that sounds weird it sounds like i'm supposed to say post op post weight loss you will see changes trust me like trust me trust me that it will redistribute and your breasts will become more full I don't know, like literally my breasts have become more full. I literally thought it was period boobs, but after my period had gone, they were still, you know, like they were still there. So yeah, so I would just say, just wait for the breast thing, even though it is a bit annoying when it happens and a bit like, what the hell? Like literally what what's going on type of thing, but just persevere and everything will be good. The next thing is feeling colder. I know it sounds weird, but after I lost the weight, I just felt colder and it, it does make sense because literally you've lost a lot of body fat so you don't have the amount of insulation that you had before like literally I'd find myself getting very cold very quickly like I'll need to have my heater on in my room like just my mini heater like a lot more than I used to ever do like I don't think I ever used to use a heater but I literally had to get a heater in my room and be using my heater because I'm literally cold and I'll be like is anyone else cold and everyone's like no, I'm not. <sighs> Damn, it's a bit chilly in here. It's a bit billy. Like, and other people don't really feel it. That's when I clock like, hmm, maybe it's because I don't have as much insulation, as I said before. It is a bit annoying, but I feel like your body adjusts to it over time. Like now, I feel like I'm not as cold as I was in the beginning. But yeah, that is another con. The last con, which I, I feel like a lot of people will feel that this isn't a con, but it is a it's not when i'm saying you already know that i don't mean con con but it's clothes 
So it's literally the fact that all the clothes that you have and you've been buying over all these years before you lost the weight, they're not going to fit you anymore. Like literally all my, none, like, they, they don't, they just don't fit. Like it's, they're just too big. And obviously that is a good thing because it's just like, wow, like it's good for you to see that, okay, I've actually lost the weight because that's another way for you to gauge that you've lost weight other than being on the scale. Like, as I say in my, in my keto course, non-scale victories, like literally clothes that didn't, that, that are too big for you or they're too big, literally clothes that used to fit tight are now too big for you. But it is a con because literally you have to spend money to buy a whole new wardrobe. So anyway, that's all the cons. Let's move those to the side, the cons. Let's go to the pros, which I wanted to end the video on like a happy note. First pro, for me, I feel like my my confidence has been boosted, like self-confidence. I feel more confident wearing certain things or not even I feel more confident wearing certain things. I feel like I look better in the clothes or the clothes actually look better on me. Like just small things like being able to go shopping and not feeling disappointed that none of the sizes fit you like being able to fit into clothes sizes that are in the store like that is a very big pro for me because it was something that I was I used to be so sad about like I used to not go shopping I used to just do online shopping and if the clothes come and I'm sad send it back whatever but I used to hate the fact that I'd leave my house go shopping to buy some jeans to buy some trousers to buy whatever and nothing's fitting me or I'm trying to find a dress or an outfit for going out and nothing looks nice or I don't feel like I look nice in anything I just feel like I look big I don't feel my best now I don't think I've felt like that since I've lost weight I just feel like that is a very big that's the biggest pro that is the biggest pro hands down feeling better in yourself and feeling happier in yourself because I'm not gonna lie lots of people are bigger or feel happier when they're bigger that it depends on the person but for me I know that I feel a lot happier now because I don't know I just feel like I was I didn't look my best then and I don't even know I probably could still look better than I look now that's a mad thing so obviously <laughs> okay but I just feel like self-confidence and the boost in confidence that you get after you reach your goal is the biggest pro um another thing is being less tired and I know people who know me will probably be like bitch <laughs> What do you mean less tired? Because I sleep all the time, but I'm anemic, so just leave me on that front. But I feel like when I was bigger, I just feel like I did feel more like lethargic. I felt just very, ugh, like tired and just lazy and just unfit and just like a slob type of like, I'm not even going to front. I literally just felt like I'm just like, like walk does like walking is just long like i'm not even trying to walk there like i'm not even trying to walk there still like literally it was a lot um another pro is just being happy in general like literally just being happy in general just being happy with yourself like happy in yourself like not thinking oh, i need to do this diet i need to do this diet because literally you don't <laughs> like sometimes i'm just literally like because it was over such a long period of time that I'd been doing yo-yo dieting and this diet, diet after diet after diet after diet, it feels so weird now that I'm not, I don't, I'm not like, okay, I'm going here and now I need to, I need to do this, I need to lose three, three stone, I need to use two stone in two weeks, I need to lose, I have one month to lose, two, like I don't need to do that, like literally it's just like, oh, like even now for me going to Portugal in summer, it's just like, uh oh, little gym, like, like I could go right now how I am and I'll feel okay. Like that's a very big pro for me because it's something that I've never felt before. I've never felt happy in myself to the point where I don't feel like I need to change anything. Like that is literally one of the biggest pros. I can't lie. Along with another pro is health. Like literally just your well-being, your health being a lot better. Like even though health and um and and weight are not directly proportional it's just like literally just feeling healthier because especially when you're keto and you've literally cut out the carbs and you've cut out the bullshit literally and the, and the, and the bad shit, you literally do feel a lot better, like just mentally, physically as a whole, you literally feel much better. The last pro that I have is just being proud of yourself. 
because I know people talk about weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, like da -da -da, weight loss goals, weight loss goals, but it's literally such an achievement to lose weight. Because as much as people are like, oh, it's harder to put to gain weight, it's harder to lose weight, bro. Whatever one you're doing, whether you're gaining weight or you're losing weight or you're maintaining, like the fact that you've maintained or the fact that you've lost or the fact that you've put on the amount that you want to put on or you've lost the amount that you want to lose, especially for me after I've been trying to do it for such a long time, the fact that I actually did it, like I'm so proud of myself. Like that I'm the type of person, and I know literally, I'm just the type of person that I would say I'm going to do something. And sometimes I don't do it, like, I don't know. I'll say I'm gonna do something or I have an idea or I do da 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 and I just don't execute it and I don't I don't know. So for me, this losing weight thing and, and releasing my eBooks, I'm very proud of myself. Like, I'm very proud that I was able to actually do this diet. I was able to do keto and lose weight. Like, I literally lost four stone in three months. I stuck to it and it's been more than a year and I've still maintained the weight loss. I'm very proud of myself. Like it is a very big achievement. And if you're looking for something that maybe will, will get you started to let you know that you can actually do it, like you can actually do things. Like if you put your mind to something, you can actually do it. Keto, I think is, is because of how hard it is. And especially in the first two weeks in the beginning, how hard it is to stick on it because of how your body feels actually the bullshit that your body puts you through in those first two weeks are mad so being able to get through that and carry on is a very big achievement and you should be very proud of yourself if you've passed that whether you've gone back on keto or not just know that if you've done it once you can do it again like for me i just know like literally when i go off keto or i come out of ketosis i just know i can just go back into it again and i know that the side effects that i'm gonna feel are not forever so yeah that's my pros and cons video pros and cons video that's the first tony talks real shit video um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit different to stuff that i usually do but i wanted to do something a bit different for everybody um make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed um in my last video there's a um discount code for my ebooks i don't know if i should put it in this video okay the discount code for the ebooks i'm going to put it on the screen um if you've got to the end of the video because i know this is a i'm looking at the time and it's 45 minutes but that's obviously with no editing so i don't know how long this video is going to be but if you've got to the end of the video here's the discount code and there's a discount code for 50 percent of all my ebooks so you can go through the pros and cons that i've listed in this video and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video as i said before please subscribe to my channel like the video dislike the video comment tell me what videos you want to see tell me what you thought of this video follow me on social media at tony karma on everything and i'll see you in my next video